Welcome to this tutorial on how to create private queues. This benefit is only available for our premium members. Let's start from the home page, go to Stories, My Queues. To create a new queue, click on Create Queue. The first step is to name your queue. Then below you fill in information or details about this queue. Click on Next Step. In Step 2, you choose the type of queue you want to create. A personal many to one queue is where you are the only one who can post chapters while others critique them. This is the best choice for a novel queue. Not only does it keep the focus on your novel, it means that all CC members can give you a critique. The other option is a private many-to-many -many queue, where the queue is only available to premium members. In this type of queue, you can also submit your stories and others can critique them. This is how you create a private critique group. In the third step, you need to decide if you want your queue to be connected to CC's credit system or not. If you choose to use credits, submissions always cost 3 credits and the payout is the same as in the public queues. If you choose not to use credits, you can always submit for free, but critters will never earn a payout. Keep in mind that credit queues are more attractive to critters. In step 4 we have the period selection. Here you can decide if you want your queue to be run on the same Wednesday to Wednesday system, as in the public queues, if it should not be run on a period system. Now, this option we recommend for a novel, but critters can take weeks or months to read a whole novel and this allows all the chapters to stay active indefinitely. Then the final option is if it should be run on its own system where you can choose the date. Step five is where you invite members to your queue. We recommend you always ask people first if, first if they would be interested in joining your queue before sending them an invite. You search the member. And click on Add. When you're done, you click on Next Step. In step 6, we recommend you write a personalized message to invite members to your queue. This message is how all other members will be able to access your queue for the first time. When you're done, click next step. In step 7, you can customize your queue appearance. Now, this step is optional. The final step, step 8, is to create your queue. Press create when you're ready. Now you have created a private queue. To submit your story to the queue, click here submit story and you will be taken to the same submission process as in the public queues. Please note you cannot take old submissions and move them to your new queue. You will have to submit every chapter as a new submission. Now, if you look here at the members, you can see that uh, their names are inside brackets until they agree to join. In case they don't agree after several days, you may choose to remind them or remove them, but uh, all invited members take a seat at the table, so if they never join, they are holding a seat from someone else. Then here on top, you can make some changes to your queue. For example, here, if you click on Members, and then you choose a member. Here you can update the status. You can remove this member or you can mess message this member. If you would like to add uh, a new member to this queue, you click on this button right here. In case you don't know enough people yet to fill up the queue, you can use the classifieds by clicking on Add to Classifieds. This will attract new people to your queue. Now, this is the process. I hope this video was helpful.
please check out the description box below for further information.